Hello there, it's Alana, and we're back this time for the Chapter 1 Excel tutorial. I know you're excited. Alrighty, let's see now. We need to know what assignment we're doing, so let's click on the Assignments tab. And there I see Excel Assignments, so I'll click on that. And I can see that we're supposed to do 1.3 number 12a, and we're supposed to ignore the directions for Appendix A or the graphing calculator, and only use Excel. All right, well, let's go look at the problem. Let me go to the book. And I'm in section 1-3. You can just trust me. I'm there. This is 1-3. These are the homework problems at the, after this section. And I'm going to do number 11, which, of course, is not the assignment you have to do, but it's very similar. And I can see there are the 50 states. I'm supposed to get a random sample of size 10. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't really feel like typing all of these. That's annoying. But, luckily for me, I don't have to. Because remember, under Tools for Success, there's a book data sets. You can download the zip file for Excel, save it somewhere on your hard drive, and then you can get into it that way, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm going to go Open. And there are the Excel data sets right there. You can see I've saved them in a 133 folder. And I'm going to open up number 11, and boom, there are the 50 states. Great. I want to make this column a little wider. I don't like the fact that Connecticut's getting slightly cut off. So what I'm going to do is move my arrow, my cursor, excuse me, so that it's a double-sided arrow. You do that by putting it on the line between column A and column B. Then you double-click, and it'll make it as wide as you need. Great. All right, let's go click on a random cell anywhere. You can click any cell you like, and you're going to type the formula equals rand between. There it is. You can click on it, double-click. And now you got to tell it what to choose from. So we got to tell it between 1 and 50. Close parentheses, enter. There it is. So it's picking state number 4, which would actually be 1, 2, 3, 4, this one right here, Arkansas. Now notice on the left-hand side it shows that it's number 5. That's because the first row is taken up by this little label here. If you want, you could always add labels over here, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if you want to make your life easier. Or you can just figure out, you know, 4 plus 1 would make 5. All right, so this state would be Arkansas. But we need a sample of size 10. So let's drag down some. I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger than 10. And there we go. We've got some states. Uh-oh. We lost Arkansas. Who have we gained? We've gained Connecticut. Well, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I could just type Connecticut. Ah! It changed again! Darn! All right, let me delete that. Ah! It changed again! No! All right, what's happening is that the random functions in Excel are something called volatile, um, which means that they change any time you do anything. Right? So if I type the number 34, enter, whoop, they all change. I delete 34, whoop, they all change. No good. All right, there's a way to get around this. What you have to do is you have to highlight the data. So I'm, what I do is I left click, double click on the 13, and I drag my, my cursor down. And then I pick up, when it reaches the 39, I pick up. And then I'm going to copy. Now you can do that one of two ways. You can, well, three ways. You could go over here and click the copy button. You could right click and select copy. Or you can just hit hold down the control button and hit C. Anyway, I, any of those will work. You copy. And now you want to right click in the same cell and you want to select paste special. Not just regular paste, you're doing something special here. So paste special and you want to select values and say OK. Awesome. Now when I go to type state number 13, which is number 14 over here, Illinois, when I type Illinois, there we go, it won't change anymore. All right, I'm going to type in all the states and I'll be right back with you. Oops. 